So today I'm joined by Paul Bottomley, who runs our UMOVE Click Heaton branch. And Paul's come along today to talk to us about the cost of running an estate agency. And the reason I asked Paul along today to have that conversation with me is because Paul has experience of running his own independence agency and also a UMOVE franchise. So Paul, uh, you've been in the game for a long time. Yes. Yeah, so tell me about your independent agent first. How long ago did you set that up? So I've been an independent agent since 1998. Um, so just over 20 years now okay. um, and had two offices in that time, one of which I still have now. Yeah, very good. Okay, so thinking about the uh, the costs of running the independent agent, just talk us through the kind of costs you experience to make the thing work. Well, you've got um, some quite considerable costs in terms of um, office costs, rent, rates, electric, water, as well as staffing costs. You've got um, your website costs, all your portal websites, your right move, your Zooplas, mm -hmm. etc. software that you need. So the costs are quite considerable. Okay, and what would you say that adds up to each and every month? Um, you know, probably somewhere in the regions of um, five to six thousand pounds. Right. Okay, so five to six thousand pounds a month. So, you know, clearly you've been running an agency for many years, and that that clearly has to be successful, otherwise you wouldn't be doing that anymore. Um, so, why did you then come along and buy a UMOVE franchise? Um, so, for me, um, at the time when I came into UMOVE in 2018. Um, I was looking for a different challenge, more for me in terms of getting back down to, um, in effect, the, the, the nuts and bolts of a state agency where I could um, not have to run the business myself, get back on the, going out on the shop floor, mm -hmm. doing the valuations, doing the viewings and being basically in control, but looking at a model that enabled me to still make money, which is essentially what we're all doing yep. it for. Um, but to, to maybe sort of take more control over mm -hmm. the, the situation. Yeah, okay. So with the UMU franchise, I mean, we, <coughs> we make a, a sort of big play on, on what we offer to franchisees. Yep. And in fact, it's written in the, um, the franchise pack, yep. uh, which sets out all of the different services we provide to franchisees within the, the sort of operational fee that we charge each month. Um, so on a like-for-like -like basis, how do they compare? Well, with you move i find that um a lot of the everyday costs that will go into running uh, an office um scenario or an, uh, not an office a state agency office business um are covered within the 1250 pound a month um franchise fee and what you actually get for that per month compared to what i pay for um, the similar service in my estate agency branch um, just represents mm -hmm. great value for money. Yeah, okay. So twelve fifty a month in for you know your right move subscription, your property management software, yep. Zoopla, twenty four seven support yep. with staff who we answer the phone for you, and we've got your website, and you've got various other bits of tech and tools that you use. So you know we we set out in our franchise pack that could as an independent cost you anywhere up to eight and a half grand a that, month. That, that would be costing me, as you say, you know, including everything, probably somewhere in the region, seven or eight thousand pounds a month. Yeah. So the cost savings um, are considerable. And, and also as well, it enables you to get on with generating business, mm -hmm. selling houses, doing viewings and bringing the money in without actually being tied mm -hmm. up with the sort of back office staff thing. Yeah, and that's something that's not immediately obvious with our franchise, I suppose, is that because we take a lot of that administration overhead, yeah. both with people and technology, it does mean that you can spend your time on the sofa, you know, with your customers in the front room signing up new business. I think that's, for me, speaking personally, that is the biggest benefit of not being tied into doing routine day-to-day -day jobs of running a business mm -hmm. and and if you get tied into that you then take your eye off the ball in terms of generating new business and earning money mm -hmm. and selling houses etc where we earn our fees mm -hmm. so all that is taken away from you um, you don't have the hassle of it um, but it just frees mm -hmm. up the time to be able to go and generate the business yeah and you're working in 
let's say a relatively low value yep. property area. So what's the, what's the average value of property? Probably say? roughly around uh, my area on Clackheaton is uh, 160, 170 thousand pounds average mm -hmm. house price. Okay, so even with what most agents might regard as as a low fee, uh, sorry, a low uh, property market, a low value property market, you're still able to achieve reasonable fees such that your revenue less the cost still makes a lot of sense yeah absolutely you know uh, what what i charge in my area um i'm probably fair to say i am at middle of the road mm -hmm. in terms of fees um i'm not maybe the most expensive but i'm also uh, by no means the cheapest mm -hmm. but coming back to what i said earlier in with everything taken away from you it enables you to service your customer well mm -hmm. um which enables you then to be able um, to put a value on your service that enables you to charge mm. a good fee. Yeah, yeah, and you're, you're charging, I think we talked earlier about 1%, which is fine, and then you add in your mortgage revenue and your uh, commission from uh, conveyancing and yeah. so on, so you're probably talking two and a half to three grand average revenue per property that you sell. Yes, yes, yeah. indeed. Okay, and often low markets are kind of associated with, you know, 500 pounds all in from, from some agents or purple bricks or whatever, and people do get frightened by that and think they can't compete in those markets but clearly in your case that isn't true is I don't it? yeah I've never I've never believed in that all through the last 20 years um, the the market leading estate agents in every single area I've worked have been the most expensive estate agent mm -hmm. yeah so the I've come up against various competitors who've who've started up the businesses with like you say five six hundred pounds all mm -hmm. in um, I honestly cannot think of one that's that's been trading two years later. No, no. So you know, if if you offer the service to your client, you get your recommendations. Um, I'm a firm believer that you can charge um, a good, reasonable mm -hmm. fee, and yeah. you can you can argue that if you're getting recommended by clients, that's an even bigger incentive to charge a better yeah, fee. Absolutely, it is indeed. Um, so let's sort of boil it all down because every business has you know various different operating costs and all this kind of stuff so at the end of the day and you mentioned it right at the beginning of this conversation which is you know we're all in it to make a bit of money um so net margin is is really the the sanity of running a business so how much of every pound you earn do you get to keep in terms of net profit so if we were to look at that number and compare your independent business with your UMU business, how do they compare? Well, with my independent business, the profit margin um, is around about 20% profit margin. Um, with UMU, it's around about 45% profit margin. Yeah, okay. So there, there's potential to earn um, more money from the UMU franchise than mm -hmm. what that actually is from, yeah. from, from the independent. You don't, one thing I will add, you know, you can, you don't, need to do huge transaction numbers mm -hmm. to make good money yeah that's it and that's what it's all about so um excellent well i think you know all of that really is is summarized in this pack which um people can get from our you franchise website uh, if they want to know a little bit more about that but it's been brilliant having you along paul to uh, explain the difference no between running as an independent on the high street and uh, running as a UMOVE operator and given your experience it's, it's kind of you know a very very good way for us to compare the two so thank you very much indeed okay.